Santa, happy Mother's Day. Hey, you know no junk food for breakfast. Ted lets us. He also lets you go to school without any underwear. It's called free balling, Mom. Sandy is a single mom. Her ex just got remarried um, to like a 12 year old. Hi, Sandy. Hi. I'm here for a job. Tell me more about this tween and your ex husband. I'm sure I exaggerated. I'll have a better idea once all the acne clears up. <laughs> So I'm interested, Jay, what is your favorite Gary Marshall film? Do you Mother's have Day. A? Mother's yeah. Day. Yeah. <laughs> <Really? laughs> <Besides, besides> no, <laughs> but honestly, I truly do love this one because uh -huh. I think that, you know, Mother's Day should be every day, uh -huh. right? <laughs> Mothers should always be celebrated. How much room for improvisation was there on set when you're on a Gary Marshall set? There's room. I mean, he definitely wants you to add your own twist and, you know, mm. certain mannerisms to the character that you see fit. So he, he definitely allows that. Sure. Was there a most memorable moment from shooting for you? Oh my gosh. I mean, maybe the first time that I met Jen and then having our, all of our scenes being, you know, bantering with one another. It was all <laughs> so much fun, but each of the scenes were it was just great to work on. What is that like being sort of an antagonistic figure to, to Jennifer Aniston? It's fun because I'm not meaning to be. <laughs> sure. You know, yeah, the I know, character yeah. that I play yeah. is actually very genuine in her love for Henry and her new stepkids, and she's just truly excited about the whole thing. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very fun. What is your preparation process when you get a script? How do you sort of build the character for yourself? You know, I, I focus on sort of the backstory of the character and kind mm. of, you know, how, who she is and, and all her relationships with the different people in, in her life. And it was very fun to be able to do that backstory for Tina. What I, sort of backstory did you create for her? That she was ready to take on this new role, you uh -huh. know? Yes, she was younger, but she was very in love with Henry and she was excited to, to be a mom, you know, an overnight mom to mm -hmm. these two young kids. And, and I do think that she was very sincere and authentic in that. I mean, there seems to be sort of a balance between comedy and drama in the film. How do you and Gary work to sort of perfect that sort of tone? I know, I also think it comes with just the writing. It was so amazing and, and everything really made sense, but Gary is so wonderful and he truly is an actor's director. So mm. he lets you be free while still knowing what is well, what is good for the for this scene. How much did the script change on set? Did it change at all your scenes? Little bits. I mean, there were lines here and there. Yeah, uh -huh. you'd get them the night before. It wasn't too intense, but I mean, that's what's fun. It keeps you on your toes when you come and you mm -hmm. show up and you don't know, really know exactly what you're going to be saying. You know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Are there any deleted scenes with your character at all? or? Not too many. Not that uh -huh. I could point out. No, thank goodness, right? That's always <laughs> the thing. When you go into the screen and you're like, am I in it? Am I in it? Did they take me out? But no, I was, I was very happy that they didn't. <laughs> what's your process for choosing roles? What sort of projects do you look to? What? It has to be a movie that I want would want to go see myself, uh -huh. and it has to be a character that you know that I enjoy, whether they're just interesting in, in some way. And um, for this, it had the combo. I would definitely see this movie regardless of if I were in it or not. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm such a huge fan of his work and and these holiday movies. Um, sure. So this is now going to be added to the tradition of movies that I watch. Do you, have a, do you have a favorite genre or film genre? You know, I really do love rom-coms. Uh -huh. I have so much fun because I just think <laughs> that they're light and heartfelt and you leave them feeling happy and great mm -hmm. and, and that's what I want to do. So. What's your favorite rom-com? Oh my gosh, oh, there's so <laughs> many. I mean, honestly, I, I there's a lot of different favorite. I, I think Love Actually was one that I loved. Okay. That was another yeah, holiday movie. movie. So this is now incorporated into my holiday movies that I will be watching. Mm -hmm. Pretty Little Liars. Is this going to be the last season coming up? or You never know. Never. <laughs> you know, that's the, the beautiful thing about Rosewood is that you never know what the writers sure. have in store. So it could be. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Do you I see yourself know. continuing in TV or do you want to do more movies? I, I think it's whatever, wherever the, there's a good script mm -hmm. and, and a good character because I would never say no to TV. I mean, hello, there's so much amazing material mm -hmm. in, in TV now. And movies, it was so much fun. My experience on this was so great. So I'd love to do more movies, of course. Who knows? <laughs> there's no limit, right? <laughs> no, there's no limit. Exactly. Thank, Thank you so you much. So